she was open-minded. Her doors were open. Her hands were open. Her heart was open. And yes, her faith was open too. <coughs> she was known by the quality of help and support and being there for anybody who has needed help. And I think that's what we humans often forget. It's paradox in our time in history that we have gone all the way to the moon and back, yet we have a problem of crossing the street and saying to a stranger, hello, how are you? This meal was not like that. And I think what I want to tell you, myself, is that since we still have a location of time to live, that we got to change our attitudes. Instead of, when we get out of the house, instead of pretending that we are busy with our phones and we're not saying hello to our neighbor, look at each other in the face and say, how are you doing, my friend? How is everything? And I think that is where we are missing that human touch. And you know, our God Almighty in the Quran told us something very unique. And I think I originally come from Boston, and you, you know what Bosnians have gone through. And when I realized my being as a young adult, and when I started realizing actually my responsibilities towards society, I realized this verse that is one of the most impacting in my life. The Almighty tells us, Ya Yuhannas. He didn't tell us, all oh, Muslims. He didn't tell us, all oh, believers. He said, all oh, people. Mm -hmm. Very inclusive. Not just those who are good. Anybody. Not just pious. Sinners too. All oh, people. We have created you from a male and a female. You are all brothers and sisters. If not in faith, then in humanity. We created you from, an, from, a, from a male and a female, and we have divided you into nations and tribes. You are different, and that's okay. Just like brothers and sisters in one family, we're all different. Different attitudes, different aptitudes, but we did not create you so that you become wolves to each other. God Almighty is using one term that is very unique, لتعرفوا, so that you may recognize each other. Mm -hmm. that you may know each other. And then God Almighty qualified it and said, Inna akramakum inda Allahi yatkakum. The, the, the most advanced of you is not one who has this color, that color, who has reached this level of education, that level of education, who has so much money, so little money. He said, the most advanced among you, amongst you are those who are the most righteous who are nicest, who, has, who, ha, who have hearts that are bottomless for other people. These are the nicest people of you. And then he said, in Allah Alimul Khabir, God Almighty knows all and is well informed. He knows what is in our hearts during the day, during the night, when we are alone, when we are with anybody, he's well informed. That's my first take on this. Number two, for the family members and friends, the best thing that you can do for Yasmin is to follow her legacy. Follow her legacy. If she has liked to do something good, do it. Another thing the Prophet peace be upon him told us, do on her behalf. Do on her behalf. There is a, a, a good situation to get involved get involved and do it on her behalf as muslims uh, we have a command to the children that their duty does not end with the death of parents it continues it's always them pray for them be generous on their behalf borrow a mission 
sort of a food bank. Any event, a dollar, five, would make one hell of a difference. Be nice to all people who are blood related to her. Nice to them, all of them. And then prophecies we have been told this, and to all her friends. And I think it's, it's a huge shoes that she has left behind. All right. And why? Prophecies you have been told us to all her friends, because if she has chosen somebody to be nice to him or her, that means these are good people to continue their legacy. And the last point that I want to share with you is this. Thank you for coming uh, on this day. May God Almighty reward you. May you have peace of mind and peace of heart. And may you be of those who will be example to others in the community. It seems like you are all great people. And continue being with that. Thank God we live in this beautiful country. You know, right? There is nothing like being Canadian. Mommy, I God bless you. you for taking heaven. the time to see such beautiful things about my people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May God Almighty give you sabr, patience. You are a very strong lady. She yes. came from a home that she taught her to be that. I know that. I know. I can see that. I see that. Reflections yes. are always there. Yes. She was always you know, the right now. In Bosnia, we have a beautiful yes. saying. You will not find apple under any other tree. Yes. Under apple. So, my dear friends, thank you very much. And God bless you for Please coming here. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.